Today on Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day, we're making chicken stock. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're going to learn how to make chicken stock. Now, why go through all the trouble to make homemade chicken stock when you can buy it pre-made from the store? Well, making your own stock allows you to control the flavor by adding or changing herbs and how much salt is used. It's cost effective and it has a robust chicken flavor and tons of nutrients. It's better than anything from the supermarket. Plus, you can store it in your freezer for up to three months. Let's get started. I have here a nice big stock pot. And here in my bowl, I have four pounds, about two kilos, of various chicken parts. This is bone uh, backs and wings and some bones and things like that. I got these from breaking down whole chickens. Now, you may remember that recently I taught you all how to break down a whole chicken, and I'll leave the link to that episode in the comment section. So these chicken parts are gonna go right in our pot, just like this. Now let's talk flavoring. I've got some vegetables here. Starting off with onions, I've got a couple of large onions. I just cut them in half. Now they still have some of the peel on them. I just took away the loose, super loose paper, rinsed them off, and I'm putting this in because this is gonna add color and flavor. Right in. Next is carrots. I have two very large carrots that I just washed. I didn't peel them or anything because it's just more flavor. And you're not gonna eat any of this afterwards anyway, so right in. Celery is next. Just two stalks I chopped into large pieces and notice I have all the leaves. Celery leaves pack a ton of flavor. In it goes. Garlic, you know I love my garlic. A whole entire head, don't have to peel it or anything. Right in, just like that. Now I have some salt here. I have a tablespoon of salt. We can put this in. We need a little more flavor though. Let's talk herbage. I have some herbs here. and We're going to make a bouquet garni. Now you're getting two basic skills for one this week. You may have seen me make a bouquet garni before. This is just a bundle of herbs that you tie together that you put in soups or stocks or whatever. And that way, when you need to fish it out at the end, everything's contained. Today, I'm gonna to use some cheesecloth. Sometimes if you can do it just with kitchen twine. But I need the cheesecloth today because of what I'm putting into it. Let's spread this out. I'm gonna start with some parsley, just a few sprigs. Pretty simple. I'm just gonna bundle that up there. Fresh thyme, love it. This is my favorite herb. Again, just a few sprigs right in. Two bay leaves are next. You've seen bay leaves are dry. Sometimes you can get them fresh, which are even better, but normally you get them dry. And then I have some peppercorns. Yeah, 10 or so, however many you like. And that's why I need the cheesecloth. You could just throw this all in because it's all gonna get strained later, but this will just make it easier to get it all apart, all out later. Give it a good tie with our twine. Pretty simple. Tie it up. And then guess what? goes right in the pot. Next is water. I've got 12 cups or about three liters of cold water. We're gonna pour this in. All right, now this is just covering everything. You may notice some of the herbs and things floating to the top. That's okay as it cooks they'll get down and get their flavor in there. Now I'm gonna put a lid on this. 
I'm going to pop it on the stove behind me. I'm going to bring it to a boil over high heat, and then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. Now, when that happens, I'm going to remove the cover partially. A lot of people like to cook their stocks uncovered. I don't like doing that. It splatters all over the counter and the stove and really makes a mess. This will keep some of that contained, but it still allows for the water to concentrate and evaporate a bit and get your flavors all together. So onto the stove. We're gonna let that go for four to six hours. Now, I happen to have one that I made already in this nice big pot. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Now the first thing we want to do is remove as many of the big solid pieces as we can. So I have a nice big bowl here in the colander. I'm going to start off using some tongs just to pull out whatever I can. And this is also various chicken parts that I had I'm breaking down some chickens. Now you may be tempted to take all this meat and put it in super stew, and you could, but really it's given up all of its flavor. All right, we're down to just a few little things and they'll come out when we strain it. So let's put this aside. And I'm gonna let this just drain and we'll strain off the juices that fall off of it later. In my nice big bowl with a big strainer, we're gonna start straining this out. Now you see, this is a much finer mesh strainer than that one. So right in. This is very hot, so we want to go ladle by ladle at first until we get it down where we can pour it. All right, thinking about where I can lift it. These are cooled off now. Carefully. Now how easy was that, right? We threw everything in a pot and then we boiled it. Now, maybe you master this technique and this is delicious and you think, I wanna take this up a notch. Or maybe you're thinking, I don't really like thyme or parsley. Here's the best thing. You can change out the herbs. You can use sage or rosemary if you want. You can add in a chili and make it a little spicy. You could add lemon, make it citrusy and bright. You could, if you're feeling really adventurous, brown those chicken parts first, then add the water and the vegetables, and you'll get an even darker, more robust stock. So here's our stock, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna let this cool down, and then once it comes to room temperature, I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna refrigerate overnight, and all the fat is going to rise to the surface and solidify. Then, tomorrow, I'll be able to pull that off, and I can divide it into smaller containers, and I can freeze it for up to three months. How simple. Now, as always, we will see you all on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for Basic Skills Day or Cocktail Fridays. Till next time, cheers.